Uh, General Amos, on page 14 of your posture report, you mentioned MARSOC, which of course has its headquarters in North Carolina. Has the Marine Corps resolved the issue of whether MARSOC personnel will remain within MARSOC in the special operations community for life, or will they rotate back to conventional forces? And is this affecting the numbers in terms of your consideration for the growth of MARSOC? Congressman, we have, uh, when MARSOC is fully stood up after the, uh, they get the latest tranche of 1,000 Marines, uh, they'll be about 3,600 strong. Of that 3,600, there's uh, roughly about 815 what we call uh, critical skill operators. And those are those Marines that have the, the ultimate in training. They are, they are the real special operators. They will have their own military occupational specialty uh, uh, designation. They will remain in MARSOC, that 815, mm -hmm. for, for more, unless they want to come out. But, but they're going to be remain in MARSOC probably for the length of their career. The other remaining uh, 1,800 will, uh, will rotate out of MARSOC. They're, they're, those are communicators. Those are UAV uh, uh, folks. Those are CI Humid folks. They will come out at five-year marks, come back to the Fleet Marine Force, and as a uh, rising tide, raise all boats uh, in the Marine Corps while they spread uh, their goodness that they learned in MARSOC. So we have solved it, and there is a portion that will remain in MARSOC for the remainder of their uh, time in the Marine Corps. All right. Thank you, sir.